Reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, 1 to 8. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I've spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that's thrown away and withers. If you don't remain in such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burnt. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. You are the vine, we are the branches, keep us abiding in you. You are the vine, we are the branches, keep us abiding. Then we'll grow in your love And we'll go in your name That the world will surely know That you have power to heal and to save you are the vine we are the branches keep us abiding in you you are the vine Keep us abiding in you 
then we'll grow in your love and we'll go in your name that the world will surely know that you have power to heal and to save You are the vine We are the branches keep us abiding in you you are the vine we are the branches keep us abiding This thing's not working. Don't know why. Nothing. Need to go and have a look what's happening. Come on. Oh, that's it. It's not, not connected. <laughs> yeah, we'll shove it on there and turn it on. That's better. Now I've got some water coming out. And the vegetables are going to grow. That's fantastic. My phone's not working. There's nothing. Can't phone, can't text, it's nothing, no internet, don't know what the problem is, oh I see, There's no connection, no signal. It's no use. It's time for coffee. Mm, hang on.
Ugh. That's awful. It's cold. And why? It's probably with the kettle. Oh, I see. It's a socket. It's not plugged in. It's not connected. My guitar's not working. There's no sound. What's the problem? Oh, I see. <laughs> now it's connected. Everyone needs connections. Remember when I was playing the guitar and wasn't plugged in? It didn't work. I didn't get any noise out of it. So I plugged it in and then it was fine. I could play music and really give it something on the guitar. And then it was the same when I was trying to use the phone. I couldn't text. Uh, I couldn't make a phone call. Nothing. It was it didn't work. And also, yeah, remember when I went to try and use the hose and I made the connection at the pipe and then suddenly the water actually started to flow and I had a lovely fountain of water water watering the plants and they could my vegetables could grow and <laughs> the same when I went to make a cup of coffee it was horrible it was not it was freezing cold because I hadn't plugged the kettle in there was no connection and it's the same through our lives. We need connections. And the most important connection we can have is to connect to Jesus. And Jesus taught us, I am the vine. And you are like the branches. And the branches can then grow and develop if they're connected to the to the trunk and they can bear beautiful fruit grapes but if we cut off that branch and there's no connection then the grapes won't grow there's no use we might as well just chuck it out but if that branch is connected then it'll grow and it'll develop leaves and it will continue to grow and eventually develop fruit. Perfect. And it's the same with you and me. And with all Christian people, we need to be connected to Jesus. Otherwise our lives are useless. We'll have no power. And if we're trying to live the Christian way, we just won't achieve it. So we need to have that connection with Jesus. So how are we going to achieve that connection with Jesus? Well, first of all, we need to ask Jesus into our lives. And if you haven't done that, please pray and ask him now to come into your life. But it's the same throughout our Christian lives. We need to continue to pray and ask him to come again and again into our lives ask him to give us his spirit within our hearts so we can have that connection with him and we need to keep on praying continually every day that we can connect with him we just got to keep at that prayer and ask God to help us to connect to Jesus to his life and we need to read the Bible because there we're going to learn and absorb what happened in Jesus' life. What he said, what he did and what he taught us to do. 
and we'll understand it if we keep on reading and taking it into our hearts and minds. And throughout the Christian year, we remember the events of Jesus' life, how he was born, came to earth, how he came for us, and uh, now we're also remembering Jesus' baptism for us, and we remember how Jesus was crucified, how Jesus rose again, and how Jesus ascended into heaven. And we need to link to the events in Jesus' life, because our lives, in our lives, we die with Christ. And so that we can live, our life's gone. We have new life connected with Jesus. So we need that connection. Heavenly Father, we pray for each one today. We pray that we will connect with Jesus and that again and again and again, we will come to him to seek that connection. And that you will uh, put your spirit and power in us so we'll have deep roots that go deep down, connecting with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Heavenly Father, teach us how to abide in Christ and he in us. Teach us to live our lives as you would have us live, in total dependence on you, which is the life of Christ being lived through us, so we may produce the good fruit in our lives, which is honouring to you. Amen. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you are our gardener and that you tend our lives with such care and concern. Cleanse us and prune us and take away anything that you discover in us that doesn't glorify your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Father, that we are branches united to the vine, the Lord Jesus Christ. May his life flow through ours as sap throws, flows through the branch that is grafted into its parent stem. Fill us with his fullness so we may live and move and grow and bear fruit as we abide more and more in him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.